make, continually make great records. And you know, here we are with the human era now, and we set up before you. Know, I think it's our best record. And, you know, it's everything that Trickster was and everything we are now. is um, how old? From 1987. That was one of the songs that never made the first album. Right. So it's, uh, you know, we kind of changed it around a little bit, dropped the key down, got Pete Lorne in his, what he likes to say, his wheelhouse for his voice, and it's just awesome. But it beats me up to be away from Beats me up. The classic, you know, heavy metal power ballad. That's one that was written a long time ago. Yeah, that's not as far back in the church of years, but yeah. years, many years back. If you saw the light, there'd be a channel to hold. Well, I knew it from the start, you tear it all apart, it's true. What happens when we make a record like New Audio Machine and with Human Era? There are a couple key tracks that start the record, you know, to get the process going. Um, song For You, which is very Van Halen. That was the first song that I wrote for the record. And uh, that kind of sparked everything else. And then as we go along, you know, we go to each other, ah, oh, well, we need something like this. We need a tune like this. The soul of a Loving Man was kind of very much inspired by White Snake. I could, you know, Pete doing his best David Coverdale impression. And, uh, you know, just really cool, and we've never really had a song like that, with that kind of groove. That's the one thing I know for certain, I've got the soul of a loving man. I enjoyed it. It was unique, um, being a little stage that spins and that whole thing. It was yeah, fun. we never did that before, the, the revolving stage. That was wild. It was, uh, but yeah, it was tough to get through. You know, we had a nice short set, but it was three o'clock high and the sun was beating down. And um, it, was, uh, it was a tough one to get through. Couldn't sit still, otherwise the tips of your shoes would start to smell. song that we wrote for the record. We were we had we were at ten songs, we're like, we need one more. And I had this thing and um, the whole concept and you know, I brought it to Steve and uh, you know basically just summarize the whole title of the record and the whole kind of um, idea of it. And uh, you know just looking back it's kind of dawned on me about how you know it's been so friggin' long and you know, especially being doing all these shows with all these other bands that you know struggle to keep members in that band, and no one's got more than one or two original guys and stuff. And you know, not only is it all original guys, but we're still the same four knuckleheads. You know, I mean, I can vouch for all the other bands. I mean, we're like the last guys to leave the venue. We're, we go everywhere together. You know, we're, it's always like, hey, so the Trickster guys, all of them, not just one of them. It's always all of them. Guys. <laughs> we're always, you know. Roam through the halls of the hotel and the bar, and you know, it's just you know, it's just the way of life.
website at tricksterrocks.com. Coming to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs>